You know what's fucking sad? The sad part is that I gotta get emails from all you faggot ass fucking NFC East teams trolling, sending fucking messages, acting like you're fucking hard and you're not. Because you guys should worry about your damn self before you worry about anybody the fuck else, okay? Worry about the Cowboys fans. Worry about your fucking 10-1 team. Make sure you don't fucking dump the damn season. Especially when you face us the last fucking game. Because I'm telling you right now, we'll be fucking prepared, okay? Fucking Redskin fans. You guys are like... You come off of one fucking season where you guys literally... Last year, only won the division just because of all of everyone else fucking up the whole entire division with fuck up quarterback play, injuries, and what else? You win a division over fucking injuries and bad quarterback play and bad coaching. I wouldn't even be fucking talking. I wouldn't be talking about any of that shit. But Cowboys fans, I gotta go to fucking. Not even just be around here, but probably in this town, be at work and fucking see Cowboys fans and see them fucking acting like they're hot shit, rolling their fucking eyes at me like it's an embarrassment to be an Eagles fan. I got too much fucking pride, and honestly, it's only a matter of fucking time that 10 and 1 is gonna go to your fucking heads, and that's about it because the downfall is gonna come, even if you guys make it to. The NFC Championship game, you're not fucking beating the team that I'm thinking that you ain't going to beat. I'm not even going to say the Patriots because they're AFC, but I'm saying you're, you're not going to beat. I'm not even going to go that far. I'm going to go towards the fucking Seahawks. There's no fucking way, okay? There's no fucking way that you guys will beat the Seahawks. It won't happen. It won't happen by a fucking long shot. Your defense is suspect. Your defense became suspect suspect last night or well last you know last week when you guys played and literally a rookie corner can't even fucking I'm a hey hey rookie corner can't cover anybody and tell me about we have a better rookie corner than you guys do okay and if anyone has a fucking problem they comment as much on my fucking page as they fucking want because I really don't give a shit and the reason why I'm giving a shit is because you guys are invading my damn emails and whatever the fuck else is going on um, but it's fucking sad. It really is. Okay, because all you guys do is come out of the fucking woodwork. Okay, and honestly, like Dallas fans, seriously, like I haven't heard this much, this many Dallas fans this year than I have in other years. Like I have not heard anybody. Have not heard shit. Got to hear. I mean, it's fucking so sad that. Even before this year, you guys had excuse after excuse after the fucking catch at Green Bay. I mean, this shit just never fucking ends. Never fucking ends with you guys. And every time, you know what? The whole thing is, is that I don't want to hear the shit about Dak versus fucking Wentz. Dak just has a better support cast. Elliot's going to be running to the fucking ground like fucking DeMarco Murray was. He's going to be running the ball too fucking much. And he's going to get hurt one of these fucking days because he's going to be used and used. Just like Tony Romo. Used, used, and fucking used. Having back spasms. Having back problems. Giving him shots before fucking games. I mean, this owner don't even give a fuck. You guys have an owner that doesn't even give a fuck about your damn team. He's just desperate for a fucking Super Bowl win because. That's just how fucking in fuck pussy Jerry world. That's how it is over there. So honestly, Cowboys fans, Redskins fans, Giant fans, suck my fucking balls. See you guys later. Enjoy your fucking games today. Hope you guys lose.